welcome to all dear students to the lecture on the topic atm services this is the very first content of our second unit which is on applications of electronic delivery channels in our earlier topic we discussed about application of information technology in banking now in this second unit we are going to study the applications of electronic delivery channels these electronic delivery channels are automated teller machine that is atm point of sales terminals electronic clearing services such as electronic clearing services credit and debit aadhar enabled payment system these are the delivery channels of the banks and financial institutions how they provide the services to the customers that is with the application of the electronic devices nowadays the with the help of information technology and with the process of computerization the banks and financial institutions they are delivering their services through various channels they are providing the services to the customers through various channels and while providing these services through various channels to the customers they are applying the electronic medium means through electronic devices with the use of these electronic devices they are providing various services to their customers so applications of electronic delivery channels is the subject content of this particular second unit and in this second unit the first topic is about atm services in this particular topic on atm services we are going to study the atm and the structure of atm types of atm atm skimming atm card clone and security tips for using atm so in this particular lecture i am going to explain what is mean by atm and what is the structure of atm that we are going to discuss in this particular lecture so let us see what is the meaning of automated teller machine the full form of atm is automated teller machine this automated teller machine enables the customers to perform the banking transactions with the help of some machine it means this automated teller machine it is a type of device which enables the customers to perform the banking transactions without human intervention means without human clerk or without cashier it is the electronic banking outlet which provides the service to the customer it is the electronic banking outlet which enables through which the customer can perform the banking transactions the banking transactions without human intervention the banking transaction without human clerk or without a cashier it is a convenience or convenient mode of banking it is very convenient for the customer bank customer to deposit the money to withdraw the money to transfer the money to various parties to check the balance to get the mini statement 
to make the bill payment, to change the security pin of our ATM card. These all are the services which the customer can avail through this ATM machine or automated teller machine. Means it is very convenient for the customer instead of standing in a lines at the bank office in a large queues, the customer can avail all these services through this automated teller machine. So in that sense, it is a convenient method for performing the banking transactions without human clerk or without a human cashier. This automated teller machine is also known as automated banking machine. It is also called as automated cash machine. It is also known as cash point and in some countries uh, the it is uh, also known as a hole in the wall. So these are the various names uh, which have been given to the automated teller machine. The if you take a look towards the history of this automated teller machine, we find that the first ATM was launched in the year 1967 by the branch of Barclays Bank in London. But uh, most of the research papers, uh, the research studies uh, says that the first cash dispensers means the cash distribution machines or the cash distribution system uh, was in Japan they used it in 1960s in the mid of the 1960s means near about in 1965 that time period the Japan used the cash dispenser machines but actually the interbank communication network it started in 1970s Interbank communication network means through this interbank communication network with the help of one bank's ATM card or credit card or debit card we can perform the banking transaction to another bank's ATM or through various machines are interconnected because of this interbank communication network. One bank's ATM card can be used to perform banking transactions at other bank's ATM services or other bank's ATM machine or automated teller machine. That is what the interbank communication network actually started in 1970s. But in India, this using this automated teller machine, the services of the automated teller machine actually started in 1980s. At the mid of the 1980s actually we implemented this mechanism in our country. These are some of the facts which are related with the automated teller machine. Then we will see the structure of ATM or structure of automated teller machine. While explaining the structure of automated teller machine we can classify it into two different parts. The first part is about input devices and second part is about output devices. There are two input devices. An ATM is having two input devices. The first input device is card reader. The input device means that type of device where we give some inputs to that particular machine where we provide some information to that particular machine where we give certain types of commands to that particular machine that is known as input so what are the input devices that accepts the input from the customers there are two types of input devices the first type of input device is card reader here in this image, uh, we can see this is the card reader. Here, 
the customer is inserting the card into that particular slot of into that card reader slot here what happens when we insert this particular atm card credit card or debit card into that slot of card reader that card reader reads the data whichever the data contains in that particular card or whichever the data contains in the magnetic strip of that particular card that read all the data all the information which is contained in that card this is the function of card reader means the customer is giving input about his bank information to that particular machine to that particular device of card reader here we can see this is the atm card here in this card this particular strip is known as it is a magnetic strip this black color strip contains our information and our data so when we insert this particular card into the card reader this card reader read the data which contains in this particular strip on this particular strip on this particular magnetic strip that is what the function of the card reader means we are giving certain input to this particular device nowadays for the security reasons the uh, chip or the microchip is embedded on this atm card this is for the security reasons because of the problems of card cloning uh, this uh, information on the strip can be stolen very easily so therefore bank replaced this particular uh, strip by the microchip which is embedded on the atm card so when we insert this particular atm card into the card reader slot it also reads the information which contains on this chip so it is the function of card reader so in this way the first input device is card reader which reads the information which is contained on this particular atm card then the second input device is keypad it is the touch keypad or it is also the keypad which is which was there on uh, the atm machine this is the keypad which we use for typing our pin number or security pin so we press the buttons as our security pin to in order to cancel the transaction to clear the type type numbers to make an enter we use this particular keypad then second type of keypad is there that is in the form of touch keypad or touch pad we can say it as a touch pad so what this keypad do, do what is the function of this keypad what type of transaction that we are going to perform in that automated teller machine what sort of transaction we are going to perform that we give a command through this particular keypad if we press this particular cash withdrawal screen then we are giving input to that machine that we are going to withdraw the cash if we press this particular button or touch this particular button of balance inquiry then it means we are giving an input to that machine that we are going to check our balance when we press this mini statement it means we are giving input to that machine and in case we are pressing these buttons then we are giving certain input in order to press the pin code or the pin number while doing the transactions we are giving certain inputs to that particular machine so this is the second input device through which we do provide certain type of information to that particular machine that we are going to perform that particular transaction so therefore this is the second input device so in this way the two input devices the first one is card reader 
and the second one is keypad. Now we will see what are the output devices. Here the output devices. Here I mentioned four output devices. Speaker, display screen, receipt printer and cash dispenser. Now we will see what are these, the what is the functioning of these output devices. Whenever we give an input to the automated teller machine, then it gives some output to us. The first output device is speaker. The speaker means uh, the speaker which is uh, there in the ATM machine which gives intimation to the customers. Whenever we enter into that uh, ATM compartment, uh, that machine asks us to insert our card. Then we insert our card into that particular uh, slot of card reader slot. After inserting that particular card into the slot, it gives intimation to us that select your transaction or select your language, which is English or Marathi. That from through that speaker, we listen all these things. The speaker gives us the command or speaker intimates us what we have to function now. Then it also asks us to press our pin number. It also asks us to do some other functions. So this speaker is there, which is the output device, which time and now they do give some information, some intimation to that particular customer who uses that particular machine. This is the first output device. The second output device is display screen. Display screen means there is a screen that is the computer screen which we see where we can see all the functions. This is here in the picture you can see this is the display screen. On this display screen we see what type of transaction we are performing, what command we have given and what that computer system is providing information to us after entering that particular command. So that is the display screen. The message pops up uh, here on the display screen and the display screen gives us the information what type of output they are providing to us. The third type of output device is receipt printer. Receipt printer means after completing our transaction, we will get a printed receipt from this particular machine. Here in this uh, image, here we can see uh, it is the receipt printer from where we will get the receipt of our transactions. After withdrawing the money, we will get the receipt that you withdraw so and so money and your balance is so and so. When we press the mini statement, when we give the command of mini statement, then we will get a receipt of the mini statement from here. When we ask about the balance inquiry, then we will get receipt from here about the inquiry of the balance. So this is what the function of receipt printer. The next output device is cash dispenser. Cash dispenser means after performing our transaction, after giving all the inputs and all the commands, we will get our amount or we will get our cash from this cash dispenser means after performing after giving the input to the ATM automated teller machine we will get our withdrawal amount from this cash dispenser we will get our uh, cash from this cash dispenser so in this way these are the four important output devices of automated teller machine. One is speaker which give intimation to us or command to us. The second one is display screen where we can see our transactions, what type of transaction we are performing. 
third is receipt printer from where we will get the printed receipt of our transaction and fourth one is cash dispenser Disp cash dispenser from where we can collect our amount or cash so these are four output devices now here in this image we can see it is the image of automated teller machine here actually it is the keypad this keypad is the input device these are some buttons over here where we used to click while performing the transactions means while giving certain commands to the machine these also comes under the category of keypad or input device sometimes the if the screen is uh, screen can also be used as the device or the input device when the touch screen system is available when the touch screen mechanism is available but with the help of that touch keypad we can give input to that particular machine so here it is the card reader in this particular slot we used to insert our card after inserting the card this card reader will read all the information which contains in that particular card this is the printer from where we will get the receipt of our printer and another uh, one device another uh, one thing we can see here is the security camera most of the times uh, in order to record the the atm who the customers they are coming or visiting to that particular atm in order to record all these things uh, there uh, we, we can see some some of security camera is situated over here at this particular place so this is what the structure and in some more detail i will explain this particular structure with the help of this particular chart this is the chart uh, already we discussed about this particular devices that is the display function keys card reader pin pad means that keyboard printer these are the devices uh, these input and output devices just we discussed so these all the devices which are connected to this particular central processor and this central processor is connected through a modem means the network of the computer networking of the computer comes from here means through this modem this atm machine will be connected to the banking networks will be connected to the networks of the bank through internet so through this modem the connectivity comes to this central processor and through this central processor we do function all these particular things input and output devices these all input and output devices can is connected to the central processor and here is the vault after giving the input to the central processor this central processor will collect the information of that particular customer through this modem it will collect the information where from which bank account in which bank account our amount is deposited or our amount is there that all information comes from this particular modem and through this modem the central processor will get information of the customer and when the central processor allowed the customer to withdraw the money whenever it allows it will collect all the information through this particular modem this all thing is electronic fund transfer system so when central process sir approves then only the customer in a position to withdraw the money 
so here the most important component is this vault in this vault this is dispensing mechanism dispensing mechanism means from where the money dispenses means from where the money is distributed and the cash cartridge is there in from this cash cartridge the money comes out from this uh, dispensing here we start uh, noted down that particular cash dispenser so, so this dispensing machine mechanism from this dispensing mechanism the cash comes out for the customer here the another component is there deposit mechanism means when we deposit the money into the atm that from this particular mechanism we used to deposit the money and deposited money come into this deposit cartridge and when we withdraw the money the money comes out of this cash cartridge when whenever we insert the atm card and we perform the transaction when the money comes from uh, the comes out from this cash dispenser there is one electric eye that counts each bill and each transactions and after counting that each transaction that electric eye will send the command to the electric journal this electronic journal store all the data of the transactions performed in that atm after frequent intervals the data which ever stored in this electronic journal this data will be converted into hard copy it means the print out of this data which was stored in the electronic journal will be maintained by the owner of that particular machine so in this way this uh, the component this is the very most important component from where the money comes out from the dispenser the deposited money will be uh, deposited into that particular machine and all the transactions will be counted by will be noted down by that electronic eye and in this electronic journal all these data is stored so this is what the overall structure of automated tender machine in the next lecture i will explain the another point which is related with this automated tender machine that is about the types of atm in our next lecture we will discuss about the types of atm thank you very much